We all know the lovable character Doomcock. Doomcock is the guy that gives us the Zordon Power Rangers vibe and tells us everything we need to know about Disney and Lucasfilm. But did you know Doomcock is actually fake news? A lot of people don't. I've noticed that many have picked up on that Mike Zero has clickbait trash future Star Wars content. But for some reason, they don't think Doomcock is in the same category of clickbait garbage. You see, these channels simply tell you what you want to hear. They make up a fake source. They gain subscribers, and suddenly, no one questions where they got their information from. When Doomcock started, he was different. He was interesting, creative. The topics he'd cover were from articles. He'd cover Marvel and Star Trek. He's anti-sequel trilogy. I see why people subscribe to him. He didn't get many views, though, but over time, he realized he could gain money and fame with fake rumors. Doomcock's channel really started to take off when he started releasing rumors for Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker. By the time the movie was released, he was a YouTube celebrity. Today, people look to Doomcock for guidance and wisdom. He has over 250,000 subscribers. He has a vast network of sources containing agents and insiders. He must be credible. Doomcock sucks his own cock and famously states Doomcock was right. The thing is, Doomcock was wrong. I've done what no one has ever bothered to do. I've gone back and fact-checked Doomcock's rumors for the rise of Skywalker. So sit back while I break it all down and please don't take everything you're about to hear with a grain of salt because it is 100% facts. The rise of Skywalker lame beyond belief potential spoilers. Doomcock talks about spoilers he received from his friend, Super Good Pixel. He leaks a script of The Rise of Skywalker. Keep in mind the teaser trailer was released a week before. The film is about finding something to stop the First Order. The movie itself does not reveal what exactly the crew is after for most of the film. The film is essentially about broadcasting the story of Luke Skywalker to everyone in the galaxy. Palpatine is a hologram he discovered years ago, which inspired his fall from the start. When we hear Emperor Palpatine, it's a recording! <laughs> there aren't any major twists or canon-shaking lore reveals. As far as I can tell, the Rise of Skywalker refers to Luke's name being known everywhere. A speech he recorded addressed to the ordinary people of the galaxy plays over the ending montage which shows Rey training a new generation of Jedi. Prepare yourself for the shitstorm that is going to hit YouTube and the internet in December of 2019. Oh, he was right about the movie being shit, but he was not right about anything he reported. So this didn't come from his magical secret sources. It came from his friend, Super Good Pixel, who got it from Missile Womp. This got 185,000 views. This was by far the most successful video other than his Last Jedi review. Think about it. You're getting some views, you have a bit of a following. This Rise of Skywalker vid, it was probably a legit video where he leaked something that was given to him. And he's thinking, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I don't see any reason to believe that this video was calculated. The video happened to blow up, and surely, Doomcock decided to double down on this kind of rumor content because it sells. Except he'd soon figure out that it's more profitable to use fake sources instead of real sources. You are fake news. Doomcock was right, zero. Doomcock was wrong, one. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker rumor, the worst I've ever heard. 95,000 views. My friends, episode nine involves time travel. This has been acknowledged and is now well known. So what if at the end of the movie, Rey goes back in time and becomes Shmi Skywalker, the mother of Anakin? It's hard to say such a vile and perverted thing aloud, and yet the rumor is persistent. What if she's the founder of the entire Skywalker clan? 
She is the source of everything. Anakin, Vader, Luke, Leia. Everything that came before transformed into Abramized shit in the digestive alchemy that is the trademark of Bad Reboot. He states time travel is in The Rise of Skywalker. Well, it wasn't. I believe the rumor might just be real. You are fake news. Doomcock was right zero, Doomcock was wrong too. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker plot leaks on market research? August comes, the trailer's released, that gives him more to work with. My source has just sent me a rumor regarding Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Episode 9 is a complete mess. More than a dozen cuts exist, and they're trying to figure out what the hell to put out. My source at Lucasfilm said there are multiple edits of the movie, that each edit has a different context and could be released several ways as they want the best edition that will be the most successful edit to release. He says his source at Lucasfilm says there are a dozen cuts of The Rise of Skywalker. They are doing screenings of edits, trying to get the right cut out there for December. This is market research in live action. So they are scrambling to re-edit the re-edits. Even the actors do not know what the final movie now will look like. Because at this point, they're not even sure what the hell the movie is about. Disney is trash and has been incompetent with the sequel trilogy. But Doomcock tries to push the narrative that Lucasfilm had no clue and were scrambling at the last minute to put this movie together. This sets up future videos about how the production is a mess and it validates his previous leaks. There is no evidence to verify any of this. They might have had some bumps in the road initially, but everything went according to plan and they made their shitty movie. There isn't 12 cuts like Doomcock claims there is. This is now the third bullshit ride of Skywalker rumor from Doomcock, and it only gets worse from here. You are fake news. Doomcock was right zero, Doomcock was wrong three. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker reshoots, new details leaked. And I come to you today with breaking news from a spy in the industry. Doomcock is a spy? There is indeed massive scrambling inside the Star Wars production, but it is not massive live action reshoots as reported. They just recommissioned three CGI studios and then ordered double the workload they had used before. So something is up. This is ballpark 300 people working on CGI three months before the film drops. My source characterizes this as a huge bulk of emergency CGI. My source tells me that he or she doesn't know if it's because it looked bad or they changed something drastic in terms of the narrative. I think that this is further proof that my earlier reporting is correct that they are actually mixing and matching different endings and different elements of the story, writing the damn thing in the editing bay. And what this tells me is that at the last minute, they have decided to go a different route with this story. He uses this to validate all his other rumors. Doomcock will continue to do this until the release of the movie. Check out his comment on the video. This isn't rumor, it's fact. Pushing the narrative Lucasfilm is scrambling around to finish the movie and validating all his previous rumors. This leak did come from his magical secret sources. It can't be verified anywhere. And when you fact check it over a year later like I'm doing, it is clearly wrong. You are fake news. Doomcock was right zero. Doomcock was wrong four. Rise of Skywalker reshoot rumors. Disney panicking? This video was made on October 18, 2019. 
This is very important because three weeks ago, Drunk 3PO, the guy with the small YouTube channel, the guy who's banging Gina Carano, he read a leaked summary of the Rise of Skywalker script. I skimmed through this video and I verified that this leak containing a summary of the Rise of Skywalker script is accurate. And he read it on his channel at the end of September. So three weeks later, Doomcock is making another bullshit Rise of Skywalker rumor video. Anything Doomcock says from here on out is clear bullshit. The script was done. Everything was on schedule to release this shitty movie. There isn't any drama to report. Let's see how ridiculous it is. And I come to you with some mind-blowing Star Wars rumors that frankly I don't know what to think about them. I am skeptical. I am hesitant. Now, this is from, uh, one of my reliable sources from the past. I don't know about this rumor, but it is from a reliable source. <laughs> he's always downplaying the rumors initially, but as the video progresses, he says they are true and doubles down on the rumors in future videos. Quote, I have Star Wars info. They are still shooting. They were having to remake almost the whole movie as what they tested as the movie was a complete pile of flopping shit. This is not some casual two-week reshoot. This is an almost 75% remake. So there were six possible main edits, and even then, there was no way to put it together that would not have flopped. Jar Jar Abrams said this film will not please everyone. Disney flipped out and said this film has to please everyone and redo it till it does. He says they are remaking 75% of the movie and there are six main edits of the film. Lightsaber and use their components to construct one of her own that I'm told contains golden yellow blade. There it is, the yellow blade. Rey has decided who she is. She gives the name Rey Skywalker to the stranger, adopting the name of her master and revealing the primary meaning of the title of the film. Drunk 3PO read the script three weeks ago. Where is Doomcock getting this leak from? Perhaps he made it up. Perhaps he makes up all of his leaks. Perhaps he doesn't have real sources. Star Wars is supposed to be released in 64 days. <laughs> to be reshooting this much of this movie, frankly, boggles my mind. It is beyond my comprehension. You are fake news. Doomcock was right, zero. Doomcock was wrong, five. Rise of Skywalker trailer reaction. Proof the rumors were true. This trailer told us nothing about the plot of the Rise of Skywalker for one very good reason. Disney can't tell us what the plot of this movie actually is. They're still shooting it. Doomcock is taking the Rise of Skywalker trailer and spinning it to validate his previous rumors as fact. He's claiming Disney is reshooting the movie. According to the rumor I initially reported and Midnight's Edge subsequently verified, Disney is reshooting almost all of Rise of Skywalker a mere 64 days ahead of its Christmas release date because even with six different cuts of the movie, Test audiences hated all of them, and Disney is panicking. And in my Friday Night Frolics live stream last week, a member of the chat out of the blue gave further confirmation in the chat than later to me privately, stating that a friend of his is currently working on Rise of Skywalker and had told him several days before my video that over 75% of the movie was being reshot at the last minute. This was a key bit of confirmation for the rumor that sent a chill down my spine. Oh wow, a member of the chat confirmed his rumors. Well, forget the script is already out. Doomcock's made up sources and made up subscriber in the chat has confirmed everything. This was a key detail that adds credibility to both sources and makes me believe that these rumors may not have been off at all. You are fake news. Doomcock was right, zero. Doomcock was wrong, six. Rise of Skywalker, test screenings disaster. Lucas to the rescue. I reported a rumor from my source the test screenings of Rise of Skywalker had indeed taken place, and they were disasters. Now, two separate sources have independently confirmed that those screenings did take place, 
and I have the gory details here for you now. Two more fake sources confirmed. Given I've now got three separate confirmations of these rumors, I think you can take this news with a little less salt than before. The script has been out for weeks, but Doomcock is still pushing his own narrative. Let's call this the Kennedy slash JJ version. The first act, which all the reviewers thought was pretty good, garnered a 65, which is really not too bad. The second act scored a 12, which is really, really bad. The third act scored a 4. After running it through a half dozen more test audiences, the aggregate score was a 29. Needless to say, the shit hit the fan. So now we have another version of the movie. We will call this the Iger version. Essentially, it adds in Anakin and Luke in the flesh, don't ask, I don't know, and reworks the latter half of the first act and some of the second. This was screened a couple of months ago and fared better at exactly 65. George Lucas, who did some script help about a year ago, pitches a new idea which incorporates a little of the Kennedy JJ movie and a little of the Iger movie, but totally reworks the third act and introduces a secret Skywalker. This version was recently screened and scored in 88, which is really good. We've talked about approximately 75% of the movie being redone. This is not accurate. It's about 25% of three different movies. Here's a prediction. You're going to see one of these three outcomes. One, Kennedy gets fired and Iger picks the Lucas version. Nope. Two, Kennedy quits, which I think is unlikely, and Iger picks the Lucas version. Nope. Three, the movie gets pushed back, likely to men. Nope. It looks like we're gonna get the, the Lucas cut with the third act twist of a secret Skywalker. I will leave it to you to speculate as to who that secret Skywalker is. Uh, I will analyze it and, and uh, do a future video about that. This is the horrible truth about your favorite franchise. There's nobody at the helm. They are off course, they are listing to starboard, they are taking on water, and they bring back George Lucas and kiss his ass to try to save them. You are fake news. Doomcock was right zero. Doomcock was wrong seven. Rise of Skywalker leaks, test screening details, the latest rumors. This is another fan fiction, 17 minutes long. Again, the script was leaked two months ago. In a previous video, I reported a rumor conveyed to me from multiple sources that recent test screenings of Rise of Skywalker had been absolute catastrophes for Lucasfilm. Since that video, I have had yet another source come forward claiming they have no less than four friends working on the movie at Lucasfilm. One of my sources sent me a detailed account of one of the screenings, and I'm going to share that account with you today as it was related to me. It would seem to be describing the Iger cut of the film I referenced in my previous video, though the inclusion of Luke and Yoda as opposed to Luke and Anakin at the end would seem to indicate that this may be some intermediate cut between the Kathleen Kennedy cut and the Iger cut, which would be interesting given the conflicting rumors that as many as a dozen different endings have been tested. You are fake news. Doomcock was right, zero. Doomcock was wrong, eight. Rise of Skywalker leak, it's worse than we thought. Spoilers! YouTube, we did it! We have hit 100,000 subscribers, yes! 100,000 subscribers. He gained 100,000 subscribers, lying to everyone. I am here today with some very interesting information that got posted online, I believe it was on Reddit, and I wanted to share it with you because it not only confirms a lot of what I was saying in my last video regarding the Rise of Skywalker test screenings, but it also refines and adds detail to what I was telling you before. I believe that this is an entirely separate source who has insider information about the current state of the Rise of Skywalker cut out of the many cuts that have been out there. And I wanted to bring this update to you now. 
Again, he's pushing the narrative that the film is in chaos. According to this post, the climax of the movie has been altered yet again. Everything here is based on the newest cut right now. There's a lot in here that makes me believe that this is a genuine post. Plot twist. Sheev reveals that he's the real Palpatine. The Sheev who died in Return of the Jedi was merely a clone. Sheev knew that Vader would ultimately betray him, so he prepared several clones in advance for such an occasion while he hid himself on Exogol, tricking the galaxy into thinking he was dead. <laughs> the Knights of Ren are also implied to be clones. Send in the clones. Sheev says, execute Order 67 through a hologram, exactly as I reported. The Millennium Falcon gets blown up. Leia, Lando, Chewie, 3PO, and R2-D2 die. Son of a bitch. They have not changed the single scene that caused people reportedly from my source to walk out of the test screening. Right then, shoots a torrent of lightning into the sky and disables the rest of the Sith Armada. Well, I'm glad that Sheev killing Kylo is finally what made Rey mad enough to shoot lightning. You are fake news. Doomcock was right zero? Doomcock was wrong nine times. Nine times? Nine times. I don't remember Doomcock being wrong nine times. Wake up and smell the coffee, Mrs. Bueller. It's a fool's paradise. He is just leading you down the primrose path. Doomcock built a large following off of being wrong. He purposely lied to all of you for over a year with this clickbait rumor bullshit. He told you the Rise of Skywalker production was dysfunctional, full of reshoots, test screenings, emergency CGI work. All of it was a lie, and Doomcock continues to lie. Since then, Doomcock's cock has doubled in size. Now he's telling you there's a civil war at Lucasfilm, and everyone believes him. Well, we all heard what Bob Chapek said about Kathleen Kennedy. Then when people noticed, Doomcock became a defensive little bitch. Doomcock is a liar. Doomcock is clickbait. His sources are fake. Every rumor he reported for the Rise of Skywalker was wrong. I think the Star Wars fandom should call out Doomcock and demand for him to admit he's clickbait and apologize to his subscribers. He's just a more creative Mike Zero. They really should collab. Can you imagine if Doomcock's fake sources join forces with Mike Zero's fake sources? The encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! For future Doomcock content, make sure to become a knight and subscribe. I'm not done with Doomcock's lying ass. Join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. Dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider unnatural.